it's beer o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer and I am super excited about today's beer. This is an amber, a Belgium amber ale in Lidl in a 750 milliliter cork and cage bottle, dark brown bottle. It's coming in at 6.1% ABV and it's from Abbey de Moncler. So Abbey de Moncler is... It's a ruin. <laughs> it's, a, it's, a, it's just a small ruin in Belgium. Might be France, actually. And they've just picked up this name, Lidl, which they're very good at. Them and Aldi, just plucking stuff from the air. It's an old ruin. It's not even a monastery. And they roll with that name and they start producing like, like this, this, this decent looking beer. Now, for me, I think they've styled all of these beers on Hoe Garden. I think it's like the Hoe Garden Brewery that's kind of like, because they, they had like a, a Rubis, like a, a Ruby beer, Hoe Garden. So did Abbott of Angler. And so did... They, they had their kind of like wit style beard as well, which we reviewed recently. I might be wrong. I mean, if there's another brewery out there, maybe this is just Lidl's kind of like Belgian beer um, of the supermarket, which is great to know, isn't it, that they have this. It was £2.99 per bottle, I think, for the 750 milliliter. Cork and cage bottle at 6.1% ABV. I think that's a pretty decent deal. Look at that. Bit of smoke on the bottle opening. Lovely, lovely looking bottle. Actually, it's the, almost the same. I was wondering where I've seen this bottle before. It's very, very similar look to this old Allsops Limited trademark, which I reckon probably had a cork. Yeah, actually, yes, look at that. I might actually put that cork in there. Uh, just to demonstrate the fact that that bottle there from Allsops, which is about 200 years old, Probably had a cork in, not a, not a metal bottle cap. Right, anyway, I feel like I'm gassing on now. Let's get the beer out into a glass and see what we get. Yes, look at this. The fine sound of a medium mouthfeel beer, that kind of reassuring glug as the it glugs out of the bottle into the glass it's a nice sound isn't it especially when you paid £2.99 per bottle <laughs> we got a one finger white head on this one it's certainly amber in colour good carbonation lovely 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 looking beer nice and clear let's get the aroma Although what I will say is, if you got to the bottom of the bottle, there might be some sediments in there. It's just, I'm not going to drink 750 millilitres of beer in the next five minutes for you. So what I have here is clear. If you get to the bottom of, bottom of the bottle, there might be some haze there. It looks really good. Let's get the aroma. Yeah, it just smells, smells a lovely kind of traditional biscuity bready it's like honey biscuity honey aroma a little bit of kind of belgian spice in there the belgian hops the the, the belgian yeast That smells really good. Let's dive in. Cheers, everybody. Ah. 
Now, of course, we never beat about the bush on the channel. I am going to give it another taste. I am going to give it another taste because I feel my palate needs to slightly adjust to this. But my initial thoughts, and I'll confirm it now in a moment, is that there's a little bit of tinniness here. It tastes a little tinny and metallic. Let's, uh, so that big build-up, could the beer fall flat on its face? No, no, it's fine. It's fine. I'll be honest. Some of you know that I do my beers in, in kind of sessions. I just reviewed a pale ale. I just reviewed a, a session IPA that was really hoppy. So I just had to have a couple of tastes there just to clean my, clean the old palate up. Um, most of you know that, I mean, for me to set up my camera and do one beer review and then walk away, and then do the same thing over and over again. I mean, to be productive on this channel, I, I, I do, I'll do a few beers at a time. Um, then I'll have a nice little session afterwards, you know, with the, with the rest of the beer. But my palate needed to adjust to this. After, I mean, the thing is with the pale ale I just reviewed, or the session IPA, um, is that it was only 4.2% ABV. And, and the danger is, if I did it the other way around, like like drinking a six point one percent ABV, when I was when I was taught to judge, I was taught to judge. I judged for camera, SIBA, um, I've judged in Europe, different beer competitions. The the almost like the iron stick, if you like, the golden rule is ABV. You judge per ABV. If the, if the ABV is a big jump, then you leave that beer to last. So, so in my head, in my judging head, I've gone, right, let's do the session IPA first, and then let's do this 6.1% beer after. And yeah, I think it's just, it's just kind of just, I've adjusted now. Let's talk about this beer rather than my judging. I've had better amber beers. Let's let's make no mistake. I've had better amber beers than this. The question is, is it good value for money for that two pound ninety nine? It's quite bready. It's quite brown bread like. You get a lot of brown bread in there. You get some sweetness in there. There's a little bit of kind of glucose maybe there's a, maybe a touch of glucose in it just to sweeten it up a bit but there's lots of brown bread flavor it's peppery and spicy there's a little bit of bitterness there's lots of sweetness with that glucose um, you get that warm in that 6.1 percent abv you get that kind of warming sensation as the beer slides down the throat into the pit of the stomach um would i buy another bottle um, yeah, I'd probably buy a bottle for my father at Christmas, <laughs> you know, that sort of thing, like, you know, um, go up to Lidl, buy, buy four of the different beers, and it's a nice Christmas present for somebody then, isn't it? Um, but, I, I, and he would love it, he would absolutely love it, he would think, you know, wow, what a, what a Christmas present, or what a birthday present type of thing. It's okay, it's okay. It's it's a Belgian amber style beer. I think it's probably been brewed in France, if I'm honest. I think this is a French. It's got a certain kind of like big brewery French taste to it. The French brew lots and lots of beer, by the way. Probably one of the biggest beer producing company con countries in the world is France. Breweries everywhere. Uh, yeah, so I suppose, if I'm honest, it, it kind of, it's average. It's an average beer. Uh, let's see. I want to just see if it's got any glucose in it. But 
There's no ingredients. Hang on, this should be. Take my time here. Yeah. My goodness me. Right, okay. So there's no ingredients. And this is UK law. UK law would be it drives me nuts. So if you have a look at Espanol, Spanish, Italy, Netherlands, there's ingredients. You get to the UK, because there's no law on putting ingredients on the back of a bottle, there's no ingredients. So let's let's read the Netherlands, Italian and, and the Spanish and work out the ingredients. So the Spanish is aqua, water, malta to salibra, which is malt, hops, uh, malt extract, extract of the lupulo, which means hop extract. Um, I'm looking for glucose. So let's go to the Netherlands. Doesn't look like there's glucose in the Netherlands. So maybe the Italian, Bira doppio malto, aqua malto, zero lupulo. No, okay, so there's no there's no glucose in the beer then. There is no glucose in the beer. But what a, what a fascinating thing. I mean, you can take it, you can get that to focus and read the ingredients if you want. But take note, the only country on the back of that bottle without ingredients is the UK. <laughs> Funny laws over here. Beer, you haven't got to put the ingredients on the back of the bottle. What's that all about? Uh, it's a... It's a six out of ten. It's a six out of ten from Real Ale Craft Beer. It's one of them beers, if you see it in Lidl and you think 6.1%, I fancy it, give it a go. But if you watch this video and, and, and you think, oh, you know, average amp beer and you don't fancy it, don't bother buying it. It's entirely up to you. Buy it as a Christmas present for somebody else because the cork and cage look lovely. Thanks for watching. Please put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe to our daily beer and food reviews. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom. Cheers.